thanks for tuning in um, and to coming to listen to me. I haven't had a, uh, made a video in long just because I haven't had time. You know, when you are working and have to take care of um, a family, two busy boys, there's no time to really do anything, no free time. So I'm going to keep this short and sweet um, rather than spending my time answering people um, on what I'm about to talk about, I thought, let me put it in a video. So those of you who know me personally know that I enjoy finding new spots to take my kids, you know, when I have a free weekend or a free day even during the week. Um, but I spend a lot of time trying to find like the perfect place to go to. And often what you see on, on their websites is not, when you arrive there, it's like, oh, it's not really what I thought it would be. So I tend to actually search more um, using tags and seeing what other people post about them and real reviews of what people say versus just visiting their website. So I am going to do a little review on um, the places that I go to or a few reviews every now and then on the places that I go to. Um, just to give you honest feedback, obviously this is my personal experience and based on what I expect when I go to a place. We don't all, all expect the same things, but this is just based on what I expect when I go to um, take my kids out. So I was spending a lot, of, and why I'm doing it is because um, when I do post, you know, I post a lot about my family and my kids on social media, on Facebook, because that's my storage point and I love sharing um, with my family and friends who aren't don't get to see them especially now during COVID um, we don't see a lot of people often um, so yes they would ask me questions oh where did you go to how was it how much was it etc etc so I spent a lot of time really um, describing or explaining um, these places to people I thought why not just put it in a video um, for more people to see if you are interested so this video is about um, Haito Taito. We visited them this weekend um, after great reviews from friends who've been there and I have been searching or hearing about them a lot over the past few weeks on you know a little um, Josie Kids website or um, these mamahood groups that I belong to and it seemed like quite a popular choice for people so we went there i live in the east strand and it was about a 35 minute drive they are based they are in, in midstream when we arrived there beautiful looking venue and you could see lots of fun there it was it's huge it's absolutely huge bigger than any other um play center that i've been that i've taken the boys to um in the past so beautiful, it still looks fairly new and um, entrance, you had to pay a little bit of entrance for, the, I think it's 110 Rand or 130 Rand for the kids. Um, so you pay for kids over two years old. So Cuba had to pay entrance just to be able to play. Um, over a weekend they suggest that you make a, a reservation beforehand because it gets so busy. So we made a booking. We got our table and we could just chill and have something to eat. They have inside and outside sections, which is very nice. And it's not like inside limits you. There was really a lot. There was a big uh, jungle gym maze thing with three giant slides for the kids to come down, uh, um, down on. And they also had soft play sections for the smaller kitties to play on little doll houses on this one side so and this is all um, undercover inside outside also they have seating areas there um, it is shaded and then a huge playground for the kids there were swings there was a giant bouncing ball which I also had fun on I got up there with the kids and we bounced away um, lots of fun and then um, they had swings beautiful swings so you can take a nice walk through even though it was extremely busy you did find that there was a little bit of space and you could just be kind of on your own it's just like when there were go-karts there might be a little bit of a queue there and um what else really a lot, a lot for the kids to do 
um, lots of fun, grass, there were jungle gyms outside, there's sand for them to play in and they have little venue spots so there were lots of parties uh, running. I think I probably spotted about five different party spots um, and there were parties there and totally like in, like in the play center but also quite private, you know, um, really cute. So I think you can book a package to have your little kids parties there. Um, yeah, so let me give you my review based on my experience. So when we choose a place to go to, we generally like to find a spot where the kids can have fun um, and we can enjoy it as well. Um, especially if it's my husband and I, we want to be able to at least get a meal in while they're playing. So we like to look for a place that has child minders. Um, they had lots of child minders here, but they didn't seem, compared to other places that I've been to, they weren't, uh, they weren't amazingly fantastic. They really were just there. They were like blah. Um, so I wouldn't rate them, the child minders. I really have had um, people who are totally hands on with the kids and I don't expect them to just look after my kid, but I expect them to control the way the kids are playing. So if they're pushing down the slide and the child mind is at the top of the slide, to at least say, hold up, one at a time, okay, now you go, you know. Um, yes, and then also, the, we, I had my experience at the go-kart section was one of the go-karts were broken. It was a size that my kid was, Cuba was going to use. So the child minded there, you just said, oh no, that, that one's broken. He just pushed it to the side as a kid came off and he's like, that one's broken. So we're like, what's wrong with it? Oh, it's just a chain that's out. We'll fix it. Um, and my sister was with us. She fixed it quickly and it was sorted. And his attitude was just like, oh, well, you guys go ahead and do what you want to. And by the way, fix your chair, make it the right size. No help from him. He wasn't doing anything. He was just standing to the side. There was someone who was kind of timing the kids so he was a little bit off um, and so he could have helped us if he really wanted to not a train smash but just no he wasn't eager to be helpful and that was generally most of the child minders that I saw there um, food as, as I said it was very busy so when we got there our waiter brought one menu to our table we were um, five of us, four adults and Cuba and then Jet as well. So one menu and she said, oh, I'll bring another one back and probably 15 minutes went past and she didn't bring it, uh, more menus around. Um, then when she eventually brought the menu, or no, we asked for, for more menus, she brought them around and then it took her a good while. We had to actually say like, get up to go and ask a waiter to come to us to take our order because they just weren't taking our order. We put in our drinks order and then it took a long time again for them to take our food order. Um, however, once we gave the food um, order in, it took very, it was very quick for them to bring the food to us. So that was nice. The food, decent, very average, I think. The menus ranged between, I think on average you'd probably spend around 150 Rand for a drink and a meal, depending on what you have. I know my mom had a meat platter for one that was two, 120 Rand. Um, and there were like two wings, two meatballs, a little mini Budavos, Roliki thing, uh, chips, uh, fricadal. And then little Viennas, like three mini Viennas in a skewer. I had a chicken wrap, so a full chicken wrap with chips, and I think that was about 80 Rand. Um, kiddies, under 50 Rand, I think you can get a little meal. Hang on, I think Jet is quite up. Sorry about that, this one was looking for me, over blippy now. Um, as I was saying, I had a chicken wrap, oh no, I was with the kids, so the kids you can find their meals are under 50 Rand, um, Cuba had chicken strips with chips, it comes with a little dip, and um, I see they also have healthy options, like um, 
veggie sticks, uh, carrot sticks or cucumber sticks and tomato with dips that the kids can eat. They also have some smoothies. So, oh, fair wee. options for a, a kiddies um, oh, venue, a kid friendly wee. venue um, or a venue um, that is um, centered around kids. Um, Up, down. Um, but yeah, nothing, it didn't blow me away, the taste didn't blow me away. Um, I had milkshakes too, so very cute. I like to eat with my eyes and they look quite pretty. They've got cute little mugs, um, which is like the same type of mug that they use for all their types of drinks. So whether you're having water, coffee, milkshake, it comes in a similar type of a, like a beer jug. Um, very cute. So I, I, thought it was absolutely pretty I'll show you I'll put a picture on here now um, so yes that was really my experience lots for the kids to play I think we spent about three hours there three four hours and it, you know it was nothing never boring there was always something for the kids to be on um, you know balancing on tight ropes and very cute things and yeah so I think very good venue i would go there go back again but i think i would probably go back on a weekday i enjoy taking them out on a weekday because just because it's um quieter i feel like i can keep an eye better on them or and um it's just more free them to play and i relax a little bit more because i can sit down and i can see them there's not lots of people that i have to look through to kind of find them so I definitely would go back, but probably in a week on a weekday. And yeah. So for this venue, if I'm going to score it out of 10, I think I'd probably give them a seven. It was really great, but I wasn't totally blown away. So let's leave some room for improvement or for better experiences at different places. So I will be when I visit other places, I go so often um, and I'm Quite bummed that I haven't started with these reviews but maybe I'll go back see the pictures that I have and then talk about places that I've been to with them um, and make more videos but going forwards I certainly will um, I give them a 7 out of 10 and yeah if you know of any awesome places that you think based on what I've said here um, if you can imagine what I might like please recommend and I'll give them a try thank you for watching bye go Bobby Say bye. Say bye.